This is my brand new to me KitchenAid mixer. A friend of mine posted it for sale and I jumped right on it, got lucky enough. And I just picked it up the other day. It's gonna be our maiden voyage. I'm going to give it a whirl. I always wanted to do a meatloaf in one of these. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've got two pounds of local farm raised beef from Twisted Horn Ranch. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and uh, just see what happens on the low. Looks like it's kind of mixing. Alright, so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to tilt back up, get my eggs in here. I may do a third egg. I've got a lot of breadcrumbs here. I probably should have done three pounds of burger, but you know, hindsight. Alright, we got our eggs in. Put this back down. Breadcrumbs over on this side. Turn that up a bit. Now I always use Rosa Shirts, my favorite brand. Breadcrumbs in there, uh, minced onion. Cause I don't feel like cutting up a real onion. Yeah, this will be faster. Measure with your heart. Get you with everything. Garlic, salt, and pepper. Take a little longer, but I'll at least keep my fingers clean and mix it better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these breadcrumbs and another egg. Rest breadcrumbs, just put the head down and see how this goes. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to lift this up and put everything in the middle. This might end up being something that's better with three or four pounds of burger or just something you scrape to the middle a few times, but I don't hate it. Maybe 
maybe this isn't the best hook to use. Maybe a different attachment would be better. I don't know. It'll be trial and error, but I don't feel like getting another one dirty. So we'll just scooch everything to the middle and give her another whirl. digging burger out from under my fingernails. So, I can just time this to when it goes by. You just see how it's not terrible. Like I guess I think this would be better with the three or four pounds of burger. But I'm gonna call that good and I'm gonna throw this in a pan because it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know that I've ever done it this way before, but I'm gonna use a loaf pan. Um, I think that'll make it easier to make some meatloaf sandwiches. Now, I'm going to have to look into this because I've never taken this off before. Hmm. So, we'll have to look at that. some crackers on the bottom but not a lot take a little longer to bake but I think it'll be easier to do slices and easier to do meatloaf sandwiches because my husband really likes meatloaf sandwiches. We'll see how long this takes to bake. I'm guessing it's going to be an hour if not more. That's long since I've done a meatloaf and not the baking cups like I normally do. I don't see a bunch of air pockets, so we're going to call that good. <laughs> 